Proper hand washing technique is a basic but crucial skill required to become a CNA. Every other skill within a CNA's repertoire will include the utilization of proper hand washing technique. Being able to wash your hands the right way will not only be help you become a CNA, but will protect you against harmful pathogens and disease. To begin proper hand washing, approach the sink with proper body mechanics and turn on the water. Check the water temperature with your wrist and adjust as needed. You and your clothing should never touch the sink or the countertop during this skill, with the exception of turning on and adjusting the water. Once you have achieved an ideal water temperature, wet the front and backs of your hands by allowing the water to run down them. Apply soap to your hands and begin to lather. Remember, a proper hand washing technique should last about two minutes. To begin lathering, rub your palms together in a back and forth motion to get them clean. Then, individually rub the top of each hand, allowing your fingers to interlock. This ensures the top of your hands and in between your fingers gets cleaned. Next, bunch one of your hand's fingers together and make small circles in the opposite palm. Repeat this step for your other hand. Continue by cleaning underneath your fingernails with the opposing thumbnail. Repeat this step for your other hand and end this process by cleaning the last used thumbnail with the opposing hand index fingernail. Next, cup your wrist with the opposite hand and clean around it. Do this for both of your wrists as it provides a top barrier for your clean hands. Now, rinse your hands by allowing the water to flow down them. Again, it is very important to maintain proper body mechanics and do not touch the sink while you are rinsing your hands. Touching any part of the sink or counter with your hands or clothing will disqualify you during your CNA examination. After your hands have been completely rinsed of any soap, grab a paper towel and pat dry one of your hands. Throw away the contaminated paper towel and grab a new paper towel. Pat dry the remaining hand. Once you have dried your hands, grab another paper towel. Neatly fold it and turn off the water with it. Properly dispose of the used paper towel and take a breath as you have just completed the proper hand washing skill. As with all the skills we cover, below is the simple step-by-step -step guide, key takeaways, and the notation of any supplies required for this skill. Once you feel confident in your hand washing abilities, you may move on to the next skill.